Well, greetings YouTube model people. How's it going? All right, coming at you here with an update on my 2023 Halloween group build uh, hosted, hosted by Russell at Russell Model Cars. And go check out his channel for sure for all the details on this build and because he also posted up uh, a recent update on his project, which is coming along really cool. So definitely go check it out. Um, I'm working on the King Ghidorah. Uh, this is an Aurora kit. A uh, very cool kit because it's the three-headed monster here with the big giant wings and all that good stuff. So uh, it's quite an interesting uh, kit. And being Aurora, it comes with a base that uh, you can detail and, and almost like a mini diorama kind of thing. So, uh, you know, it's pretty wild. So let's see what we got on this. Now, I did most of this this past Saturday. Again, it's Monday night the 23rd of um, October, but we glued all these together um, Saturday. Um, and, you know, there are definitely some seams here in spots like this one here by my thumb and then a few other spots, but I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not going to get overly picky with the seam filling for this one. It's just kind of a fun build. So we might do, you know, again, a few of the most uh, offensive areas with seams on top of the head there. They have the little hole. I'm not sure why. I've looked in the instructions. They're not the best, of course, but, um, you know, I've looked and seen what, what the deal is with the hole in the head. I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe I can look at some videos on the internet or pictures and see people built this kit, what it might be. This seam here, we're going to kind of smooth up a little bit too. So other than that, though, we're going to uh, pretty much leave the other ones alone. Uh, and they're really not that bad, the seam. Once you get paint on there and stuff like that, um, that should actually uh, look pretty good. So there he is, three-headed monster. I got it so you can open and close the mouths a little bit. Uh, they kind of move around so they can be wide open or closed or whatever it is, partially open, all that good stuff. It's up to you what you want to do. So I think I'll leave basically the middle dude will have the uh, the widest mouth probably just because that's probably what uh, the main, main part of the monster is in the middle, right? Maybe. So here's the base. I just painted like a matte black on the base. And then literally just got finished about five minutes ago hand painting the gray here because there's like a series of uh, debris and uh, rubble and, and building. Um, these are some of them here that had to be glued. And these are going to go on the base in different spots. And we're going to obviously uh, glue that in place and then paint them probably a little bit lighter gray than this gray is. Um, and then we're going to probably put a wash over this, um, you know, like a dark gray wash, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. And then to kind of give it a little more of a, 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 you know, worn look, we'll probably go back with a little bit of um, pastel chalk over the top, just to kind of dull it all down. We'll see how it looks when we get to that point. Um, and then here's the uh, slate or clap that goes in the front here like this. So we're gonna put that maybe. I don't know if we're gonna put that yet. I haven't decided because they basically don't give you like a decal and I don't have ability to like print stuff off a printer. This is really all they give you for the sign is this black and white thing, which I might do because, you know, think about it, a lot of movies are black and white, obviously. So maybe I'll do that and, and see how it looks at least and then make a final decision once we see how it looks. So that's basically it, folks. Uh, again, it's about, uh, well, it's a week and a day away from Halloween day. And I'll tell you what, we are going to be very close to being completed by the Halloween day, which would be pretty cool to be done actually on Halloween night. That would be kind of neat. Um, so we shall see, but I think we're in pretty good shape for getting that all completed. Really, there's very little assembly left. It's just a matter of painting and doing the seam work. I'll be doing the seam work uh, this week, uh, mainly tomorrow night, I think, and Thursday night. And then, you know, smoothing that out and painting it. We've got some good weather coming up, so it should allow for that. Uh, and then it's just detailing the base a little bit. And that's about it. So probably about total, maybe three to four hours tops on this guy is left. Uh, I use lacquer paints. I use the Tamiya spray can paints almost exclusively. Um, and uh, they dry super fast. So uh, we're going to be using a like, kind of a metallic gold for him. Uh, the wings, of course, are off to the side. That's going to be maybe the, the trickiest part because I have to do the veins on the inside of the wings. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna detail paint those. I've seen a couple people who did stuff and I didn't like the way they did it. So I had to come up with my own way to get a little more detail in there. 
So anyway, that's it, folks. All right, we'll talk in a bit. Cheers.